Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Uh, before we get started, make sure you join that notification squad by hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. That way you'll know exactly when I release a video and you'll never miss one. Alright, so what we're doing today is the Mad Max Snake Knot, an alternate way of doing the Mad Max Snake Knot. And um, it's just a little different, slightly different look. And I think you guys will like it. Went with the microcord tab closure on it. And uh, this one turned out just nicely. So, hope you guys will like this one. Uh, remember, you can find all the goods I use in this video uh, through the affiliate links down below. And also, if you really want to, you can check me out on Patreon and support me there. All right, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I got my piece of paracord here. I'm gonna start from the midpoint of my strand and we're gonna start off by tying the diamond knot. So let's go through that again. I'm gonna make a loop with the strand on the right, like so. Put that over top, the strand on the left. Bring the strand that's on the left behind the strand on the right. So bring it around to this side. And now, see these three strands here? Go over the first one, under the second one, and over the third one over under over then pull this all the way through now we have our carex bend we've got our carex bend and then take this strand on the bottom here make it go past the strand up top and then through the middle and bring it out the front here like so and do the same with the other strand then you go past this strand here and out through the middle. Okay, so I'm sure most of you are familiar with the diamond knot. Now let's cinch up that knot. And now the key here is you want to get the knot all the way to the top here. So, you know, normally we uh, leave a bit of a loop up top, but cinch all the excess out so that this is as small as possible all the way down to the center. To cinch all that top excess out, just look for the cord on the side here that's linked up to one of these cords. So in this case, it's this one. You just pull on that, and then you can pull all that excess out. Okay, but try to do it evenly so that the strands on the bottom are on are even. So yeah, just pull that all the way down, and then cinch this all the way through. Okay, so we got that diamond knot tied up nice and tight, and you see that little loop there on top? It's super small, but that's where we're going to feed the Mad Max closure through. Now, let's tie our snake knot. You can take the strand on the left, bring it around and behind. Strand on the right. Okay, and then take this strand behind and put it through this gap up top here that we created. Pull that through and then cinch this up all the way. Now we're going to tie this one the more traditional snake knot way, um, not separate snake knots. So again, I'm going to loosen one of my snake knots, like so. Then take the strand behind and push it through and pull that out. This is my preferred method of doing the snake knot. You can do the separate ones if you want. I'm gonna turn it around, loosen, again. Make a bend, bend that through. And close it up. All right, so the usual snake knot. Okay, so continue this process and tie the entire length of your snake knot bracelet as much as you need. That's the glory of this one. You can just go as much as you need to. You can adjust it on the fly. So keep tying those snake knots and then we will uh, form the closure when we're done tying the bracelet. So I'm done tying my bracelet and now I've got a fit attached to one of the strands here. And we're just going to create the Mad Max closure by passing the strands through the top of that diamond knot, that little loop we created. So use your fids. Pull this through. And of course, I left a note in the um, earlier measurements at the beginning of the tutorial. If you want to tie a diamond knot 
um, on this side. Give yourself a little bit extra paracord. I'm going to use the microcord uh, tab as the closure or the method of creating that so it doesn't slip out. All right, so we got these through. Now I'm just going to grab my uh, microcord and tie the little tab there so that it doesn't slip out. So to do the tab, I'm just going to use my microcord and I've got about a foot. I'm going to just tie some cobra knots over here. You're going to have to adjust this to the right spot. I'm a little tight on cordage. That's why my measurement um, is a little more generous than the measurements I gave earlier. So I'm just going to tie some cobra knots here. Okay, and there we have it, folks. We are finished. This uh, alternate method, Mad Max Snake Knot, is done. Got the little tab there. And of course, you can always tie the diamond knot at the end if you want that kind of double diamond knot look. Um, I kind of like the microcord tab just because it's a bit more slim, with a bit less clumsy. Uh, not that it really is, but I just like the look of it. And yeah, this one turned out just fine. I think this um, knot stays a bit tighter, too, than the original method. But again, I always say with Mad Max braces, if this gets loose, just dip it in a bit of boiling water and it'll be nice and tight. All right. So guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to uh, check out those affiliate links down below. You can support the channel that way. Or if you really want to, you can check me out on Patreon. Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.